You know, I had always hoped that right before I died, my life would flash before my eyes and I would see wonderful things. But as I was hanging up there, I didn't really see much of anything. But I did see you. For those of you who know me, it is no secret how much I love this film. But there is something that has been bugging me about it, or rather, certain moviegoers and their reaction to it. Since it premiered at Sundance last year, there were stories of half of the audience walking out in the middle of this relatively short film. Subsequently, they went on to write half-educated reviews about it and started spreading the word of what they thought was an abomination to the cinematic art. And as always, that is their opinion. They are entitled to it. They have the right to dislike it, and they are more than welcome to share those opinions with whoever is willing to listen. But let me tell you why they're wrong and stupid and why I hate them. 2016 sucked, and I'm not talking about celebrity deaths, racial violence, or Harambe. I'm talking about movies. 2016 was by far the worst year for movies that I can remember, even compared to 2009 and 2010. The year that all of the movies that were released were greenlit during the Writers Guild of America strike of 07 and 08. Those two years at least had an excuse. 2016 was the year of failed remakes and sequels that no one asked for. There has never been a year that I opted to stay home over seeing a movie as much as I did in 2016. And I get free tickets. I mean, I even read a book. A book! Over a movie! Granted, it was a non-fiction book about a movie, but still. In this world, a lack of creativity is greenlit and lackadaisically produced as a product to make a quick buck. And even many independent films have become repetitive cliches of those that came before them. But there was a bright light of something so different in 2016 and that was Swiss Army Man. So why aren't critics who claim to love movies supporting this shit? Swiss Army Man is far and beyond the most original, creative, and universally relatable film made last year. Sure, it's filled with farts and boners and everything a middle school boy would laugh at, and not many of us have been stranded in the wilderness with nothing but a dead body to keep his company, but it is so much more than that. Those who don't see that are the kind of people who go see movies, but never go to watch movies. There is a difference. The Daniels used farts as an allegory for hiding who we truly are in public because it is the social norm for crying out loud. It encourages people to not be afraid of who they are just because society tells them they're not good enough. It is a film that uses a corpse, someone that ceased to exist, to show a suicidal man that life is worth living. Why would anyone want to stifle that kind of genius? How could anyone see someone doing something so risky and different and think, how dare they? The Daniels, in my mind, are the equivalent of the American New Wave movement of the 70s. Just like Mike Nichols, Dennis Hopper, Martin Scorsese, Francis Ford Coppola, Brian De Palma, Hal Ashby, John Cassavetes, and countless others did, they are doing something that is out of the ordinary and new. We need more movies like this. And I'm not talking about the farts and boners. I'm talking about movies that try to be different. Movies that take risks. They're remaking the same crap over and over again. And while box office records may have been shattered several times this year, I'm willing to bet that actual ticket sales have declined. Perhaps films like Swiss Army Man are the beginning of a new, new wave of creative filmmakers. We need more directors like the Daniels. Filmmakers who are willing to create films that half of the audience may walk out of. Filmmakers that still care enough about the art to create something new and exciting and on occasion downright silly. We need more movies like Swiss Army Man. Penny, if you don't know Jurassic Park, you don't know shit. So if you couldn't tell, that was my recommendation of the week, which was Swiss Army Man. I cannot recommend this movie enough. It is my favorite movie of last year uh, and probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, so do yourself a favor. Go watch this movie. It is just fun. I was smiling the entire time. If you've seen our review from uh, earlier, like in the beginning of KFR, you understand how much I enjoyed this movie. If you click right here, that's going to be my last week's recommendation of the week, which was for Falling Down. Right here is going to be last week's Wednesday, which was uh, The Road to El Dorado. And if you click around here, that's going to be the subscribe button. Down below is the like, dislike, and subscribe again. And the comment section, if you've seen Swiss Army Man, which you hopefully have, tell me what you thought.